miss this. Oh, thank God I'm riding again. Hey, bedankt. Ik ga het eens rustig uitproberen. Hey, groeten. Ja, Doei. Yo guys, what's going on? I just picked up my second new motorcycle of uh, 2017. Another new MT-09. Uh, this is a weird flashback of a full morning. <laughs> I, uh, as you guys probably know, I crashed my uh, my MT-09 two weeks ago. To be honest, um, right after the crash, I didn't think the damage uh, was was that bad. But the front fork, front wheel, the radiator, and some uh, some other stuff was damaged pretty bad. And eventually um, the price for repairing all that was uh, hmm, it didn't look that pretty so I was able to make a deal with Motorport uh, Zilhem thanks a lot guys um, uh, where I could use the money of the insurance and uh, pay a little bit extra myself of course they ordered a new uh, MT-09 and I traded in my uh, my crash MT-09 so today is a nice day two weeks later two weeks after the crash my left leg still is a little bit sore not too bad the only thing is that i cannot wear my leather uh, motorcycle suit yet it's way too tight on the knee so that sucks <laughs> my first ride after the crash i uh, i wish i could have dressed uh, properly but this is uh, kevlar jeans it's the one i was uh, wearing at the time of the crash and it does have knee pads so uh, it did protect the knee but of course the leather motorcycle suit of uh, Denise it has it has way more protection on the knee elbows shoulders and so on so if you go down it's uh, yeah, truly is the best to wear a decent suit by the way I did not expect to get this much comments on my crash video I've been looking at this uh, footage a few times of course and I think looking back at the situation I wish I was able at the time to to just make the corner after the slip of the back wheel um, and I think I uh, I got spooked by the slip in the corner and I decided to uh, go full in the brakes and not try to make the corner at the same time which uh, prevented me uh, tipping over or sliding down but I did hit the, uh, the crash barrier, as you guys could see. I think if I was able to relax myself after the slip and throw myself in the corner, I wouldn't have been crashed at all. But it's hard to, uh, yeah, to keep control of, of a situation when you, uh, when you get spooked like that. I learned from this uh, experience when rethinking the situation, I, um, I started to have doubts about the tire that I had. The previous MT-09 was delivered um, from factory with, uh, with Dunlop tires. And when googling them, I didn't find too many positive reviews about them. So that was a thing that was in the back of my mind. And I just thought in the next uh, tire switch, let's just go for something uh, different. But of course, with a brand new motorcycle, I didn't, uh, I didn't want to change brand new tires right away. Thinking about this, um, I didn't want to order uh, this MT-09 with the same tires. So I asked Motorport if they could uh, deliver other tires on this, uh, on this machine. I decided to go for the Bridgestone S21s. Um, they're way softer than the Dunlop tires I had. So probably won't be able to put as much miles on it as the Dunlops but it should be much better um, giving me more grip and control of the situation hopefully in the future and I must say that even though it's the exact same motorcycle it feels it feels different and I think it has a little bit to do with the tires um, seems to be more responsive to the steering I'm not sure 
if it's in my head or where it actually feels different right away so of course with brand new tires I need to be careful they can be a bit slippery in the beginning I think a tire is uh, too important to just uh, yeah to just go for whatever is being delivered so learn from that anyway guys I'm going to have a fun relaxing ride home throw off whatever tension is still in my body after the crash and enjoy riding again see you guys later ciao this ah oh. thank god i'm riding again